In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install an ad blocker to Safari for free on your iPad. The first thing we need to do is to open the App Store. Once you've done this, you want to select the search icon at the top, and then you want to search for uBlock Origin Lite. Once we've done this, it should be the top result, which will look like this. Now you want to go ahead and click on the Get button. However, mine shows the Cloud button because I've downloaded this in the past. Once we've downloaded uBlock Origin Lite, we can exit out of the App Store, and now we just need to go ahead and enable it for Safari. So to do this, we're going to open the Settings application, and then we're going to scroll down the left-hand side menu and select Apps. Now you want to find Safari, and once you've found it, you want to tap into that. Now you want to scroll down until you find Extensions, and then you want to tap into that. Here you should see uBlock Origin Light listed, so we're going to tap into that. From here you want to toggle on Allow Extension, and you can also allow it for private browsing if you'd wish to do so. Now we've done this, we just need to give it permission to access websites, so we're going to scroll down, and you want to click on All Websites at the bottom, and you want to select Allow, and then go back. Now uBlock Origin has been enabled, we can go ahead and change our filtering options. So to do that we're going to select Settings, and then you'll be taken to Safari, where you can go ahead and change your ad block filters. So Basic should be enough for most people, however you can change this to Optimal or Complete. You can also change the filter list here as well. So now we've done this, we can exit out of the filtering tab, and then you want to go ahead and close the Safari application itself. And now you want to go ahead and reopen the Safari application. Once you've done this, the uBlock Origin ad blocker should be working as intended. So we can go ahead and start browsing websites without ads, just as we normally would. If you want to change the filtering mode for each individual website, you want to select the uBlock Origin logo at the top next to the URL, and here you can change the slider. So I'm going to turn off filtering altogether, and then I'm going to go back. And when the website reloads, you should be able to see the ads just like you normally would. And that's it. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like.